Good morning. Welcome to Pine Notes. My name is Lisa, and if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you. Pine Notes is a crochet channel. I do many crafts, however, crochet is my focus. And today is August 6th, and I'm coming to you with a short update on what I'll be working on this month. Previously, in the photos you saw before, you saw several projects that were finished objects for July. And this would include, and it seems like I have all winter things, but you know, I was in retail for a long time probably 15 years and we always sold a season ahead <laughs> so the car coat you saw in those photos is right here it is a lion brand pattern and it is called the pale car coat well you know Lisa doesn't do pale she does color this is Hudson Bay color in thick and quick and again you saw these photos all at the beginning of this video Another finished object I have for July, yes, the failed crochet shawl, which is now, I'm sorry, it was a failed crochet sweater, which is now a shawl, and again, you saw the larger photos of this at the beginning of the video. I am really thinking of writing a pattern up for this because I love this so much. I already did a tutorial on these cables last March 2016 along with some computer software. So if you want to look that up, plus I'll link it below. Be sure to check out my show notes. They usually contain fine details of what I am working on as well as patterns if you're looking for that information. And, speaking of patterns, let's talk about my newest free pattern, the three-tailed dragonfly square. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to spend an hour watching a tutorial, so I'm just going to show us quickly here so everybody uh, knows what I'm working on. This will be a blanket. This is a whip for August, a work in progress for August. I need to decide, and I'm going to ask our friends out there, tell me what you think. Should I use cream to go with all these lovely squares or a nice crisp white? So that's my hold up on this. I'm not quite sure where I'm going. I am still making squares. I have like two of each color done. So I am still making squares and hold on to your hats. Yeah, I'm making corners too. Hmm. <laughs> you know, always keep creating. I will have a pattern written out for the little corner, but it is exactly a half, including the fillet down the middle. So this is probably my first whip, and this is still kind of summery for August, isn't it? I've, I've not abandoned August completely. And in front of us, the Navajo Blanket Shrug by Make and Do Crew just wrote a wonderful free pattern on her blog. Now, if you want to buy the PDF, I think it's like $2.50, but the free pattern's on her blog. I decided to go with the Wizard Colorway, you guessed it, in the Mandala yarn. Look how pretty this comes out when it's all done up. I, this was one of the last colors I tried. I can't believe I waited so long. And what I did to make this is I got two opposing mandalas. So if you've got one with a purple center, get one with a coral center. That way you can work them at the same time and pull your threads up at the same time. Mine will take three to four. Again, we're going to talk about length. <laughs> I like to cover my bum. So I am using three to four mandalas. Oh, and I wanted to tell you this white is Bernay Baby Blanket. It's a size three weight, just like the mandala. Wonderful. And I have a lot of questions on mandala. Right now, Walmart.com has the mandala 
on sale for $4.95. Now, when this first came out, I paid $9.99 and $7.99 on Lion Brand's website. That website still says they're out of stock till January. Go to Walmart.com. I see some people are still finding it in stores. With that said, I will tell you I made this pattern a little harder for myself by choosing white as my contrast color and purple and bright. Uh, yeah, that means I am sewing in ends per section. All these lovely ends I am cutting and sewing as I go. I do not like the look of carrying the yarn through. I tried it down here and just really didn't like it. I guess you really can't tell if you, if you look at these two, but I can tell. So I am cutting and sewing in my ends per section completed so I don't go crazy at the very end. All that's left to do with this is another section of this and some work on the body of it. Again, that's why I say I don't know exactly if I'll use three or four because I want mine a little bit longer. But beautiful, beautiful colorway by, by Mandela. I don't know why I waited so long to uh, try that. And, okay, I told you guys, I'm always a season ahead. Yay, look at this. Oh, my blue chase just said hello. He said yay, too. Yay for skulls. Here, I'll, I'll hold it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right. When this came out, <laughs> this is in Simply Crochet Magazine, number 49. It is a UK magazine. And I ran to Barnes and Nobles to pick this pattern up because I wanted to do this one almost directly. Um, it is gorgeous. If you don't mind converting UK to US terms, again, it is a paid for pattern. I'll link it below. And this will be a sweater when I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a, a tad season ahead. And yes, I'm going to I'm going to show you this too. This is my second lost sh let me see. Lost souls shaw. Say that 10 times fast. Here we are. Uh, in the beginning, again, I'm going to point to that way to the beginning. I showed a completed one that is to its owner and well loved. That shawl was 6 feet in Wingspan, one of the biggest. My cousin is very tall, taller than me anyway, and I did extra yardage for her on that. This again is not for me. I have yet to do one for me, but the customer chose the beautiful colorway of Spirit by Mandela Yarns. Uh, Lion Brand makes some terrific yarns out there, and I'm just Stopping in to say hello, seeing how everybody's doing here. And of course, we've got our trivets going on, our hot pads or water coasters if you have waters. This is the Dragonfly Square sewed on top of a solid to make nice housewarming gifts, nice thank you gifts. So I'm doing a ton of these. I can't keep them in the house. I keep giving them away as thank you gifts. And I want to thank you, each and every one of you out there. Your kind words and comments when I released the free pattern for the Dragonfly Square were amazing. Um, of course, especially a warming to my heart, were the ladies who compared me to Bob Ross, the painter. That thrills me. Thank you so much. And please note, I am on Instagram daily. You can join me at Lisa Pine Notes on Instagram. I converse mostly over there, which makes sense because remember Pine Notes was a greeting card company, so I still love taking those photos. Well, I'm going to leave you guys there. Enjoy your summer, everybody. It's August. I'm gearing up for fall. I'm ready. And watch out for some more tutorials coming up this fall. Thank you. And as always, Make it a great day and crochet. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.